Now I've got uh, a new block of clay. It just came in today, and uh, like I said, it's a very expensive mistake on my part not bringing extra clay. But anyway, I've got the block of clay warming up. Um, I'll be cutting it up pretty soon here, so I just uh, uh, got to get started on this day. And I'm going to thicken her arms up just a little bit because they're a little thin and uh, a little too bony. So I want to make her more comparable comparable to her body. And uh, as soon as the clay gets softened up enough to, for me to work, I'm going to start working on uh, the uh, lay or the uh, tea leaf uh, thing that will be hanging around her neck and down her front. Now, there's an uh, art festival going on right outside the uh, mall that I'm in. And I'm just going to take a little walk through it. We are Moonlight Shenanigans. And that's the name of the company? Yeah, it's the business. Are you online? Yeah. Uh, this is David Ruley. He's uh, Moonlight Shenanigans. And I'm the spoon maker. And he's a spoon maker. And uh, you can see that he's... Uh, what kind of wood is that? Is this maple? Wow. I'll tell you, guys, this, this gentleman really knows what he's doing. He's been doing this for quite a few years. And the uh, last few, couple of years he's been doing this. But these, these are spoons that he's made and ladles. Made out of uh, maple and madroon. And madroon. And your website is what? Moonlight Shenanigans. Dot com. Dot com. All right. So all of you out there that want to get a great handmade spoon or spatula, contact uh, him through his website. Yeah, I heard you were in town. A buddy of mine opened up a magazine and said, Lance yeah, David Pollock. Pollock. Mm -hmm. And he's a sculptor and he does his own patinas. And I mean, this is really a cool setup. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and explain what you're doing. Well, this is a titanium white, and you put it on it, you just basically cook it, and then on top of it, I put ferric. Yeah. And that's what gives me all the colors. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a basic that they put on my bronzes too. Is uh, uh, for you know, the and all the colors come from that. Titanium white and ferric yeah. on top. Yeah. Same thing. Let me show you some of his work out here. Arnold the pig. A little pig here. It's semi nude here, or this nude. Mm -hmm. Human touch. Yeah. This is David's newest piece. What, what do you call it? Strain. Strain. Yeah. I love it. I love the color on it. Yeah. How'd ferric, you get that copper? Is that just the, the ferric, bronze? Ferric nitrate and silver. And silver. Wow. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Silver nitrate? Mm hmm. Yeah. And I love the base. That's a wonderful piece of wood. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I've got the skirt. I, I was experimenting with the, the texture in the skirt. And what I did was I took melted clay and I just sort of spooned it onto the uh, clay and uh, tried to come up with this texture. I'll show you more of that later. But right now I'm going to uh, start the uh, leaf uh, uh, thing that's hanging around her neck. You can see it in the photograph right here. Uh, she's wearing a leaf thing. This this uh, young lady's wearing one too. I kind of like hers, but I'm going to stick with the uh, tea leaves for the one I'm doing. And uh, I'm trying to think of which way to have uh, the thing uh, hanging and off her neck and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started with that.
So you won't be coming out on the Saturday or Sunday.